Okay, I'm doing a vlog. Am I going to blow my face off on this one? Eh, probably not. I don't know. Maybe I'll probably tick somebody off. I usually do. Anyways, I was like back and forth today while I was going to do this. And now it's like really late at night. But there was a suggestion. I kind of was like, eh, I said my piece and went on it. But there was a suggestion. Here, let's pull this up on the uh, Luca C. Model Car Hobby Headquarters Facebook group. Uh, yeah, it's like 15 hours old now at this point. But uh, so I got uh, summons by George Oppenheim. So, thank you, George. You asked me something, and I kind of answered you, but, you know, we're, we, you suggested me do a vlog, so I decided to hear late in my, uh, which is my Sunday. It's Friday night, but I got to go to work tomorrow. But I don't have to go to work till like, 4 in the afternoon, so I can stay up late. Um, huh, let's see. Hey, Lucas C. Hey, that's me. How about a vlog with the uh, straight scoop on Tester's Model Master's Rust-Oleum buyout? What exactly happened and what was their uh, intention for the future model, hobby, focused product, focused products? I've heard the little square tester bottles will continue and be uh, expanded to more colors. Is this true? Lots of rumors, speculations, misinformation out there. You are the man. He's putting this on me, putting this on me, George. You're really putting this on me. The man to help make sense of it all. Well, okay, so I, I won't even read what I said. This is my take, everything I can figure out. Why, I don't know, but corporations do this. There must have been another reason. I can't really find much information. Testers was bought out by rust -Oleum or whatever the parent company is for some reason, some something they wanted, some chunk of the paint manufacturing, but mm, the hobby was not what they had in sights. I don't know what else Testers has. But from what everything I find, like from my sources, which is, you know, uh, insiders in the hobby, which is, you know, which is, uh, um, you know, Andy's Hobby Headquarters. Well, you know, uh, it's just testers is done. It's over. It's gone. It's not happened. Andy's pulling his racks. He's got other paints. But there's been so many other paints to come out, so many other companies to come out. And Ravel is coming out with their line. Enamels, lacquers, you know, I am a, to me, a fanboy. Everybody knows that. But there's a lot. There's a lot, you know. You know, testers, I don't know. I haven't really paid much attention to it because I'm not, I never really liked testers. I'm not an enamel fan, first of all. I don't really like messing with enamels. Um, but uh, testers uh, just never really spun my top, you know. I just always had issues with testers. But the funny thing is, is if you were to see back here in my drawer, I got a lot of testers. I got tons of these little bottles, and they're like still good. They might be worth some money, huh? But I was a huge fan of testers metalizers. Love these metalizers. You know, I've got my share. I'll probably last me for quite a few years, uh, so I'm not too worried about it. I find it you know, what I need, I have found on the internet and bought it up on, you know, that eBay thing. And I've done my uh, videos of how I, I actually like to brush paint, which, you know, that it works for me, but it has to be lacquers. Those happen to be lacquer paints. So that's probably why I like them. Now, if the LP paints, AKA a lacquer paints, you know, the LP stands for lacquer paints from Tamiya ever gets to this country, I'm probably going to switch to that. Uh, Andy has a bunch that was uh, sent to him by Tamiya quite a long time ago to test on, on his channel. And I have seen the results of the metal colors. They pretty much have all the metal colors that Metalizer has. So that looks like, okay, I've got my replacement. As far as I'm concerned with testers, I'm, you know, no, no hurt and feelings. I just don't care. So I haven't really kept up with it. It never was a big deal to me. Only sad thing is like Testers has been this iconic name in our hobby. They used to do kits that were cool. They'd rebox Fujimi kits and I always thought that was neat. Their boxes were horrible. Their boxes would collapse and open up and you'd lose parts. Hated their boxes. They would ever they did a lot of neat things through the years. You know, I, I hate to see it go. But it's, it's I think that's more of what a lot of it is, is wow, the hobby without testers. I don't think any of us have ever had that because they've been around since I don't know the forties or the fifties. I don't know. Did Max's models do a thing on testers? It's, I don't know, you know. I just it just hasn't been a concern to me. I just there's there's so many paints to choose from. It's just not a loss in my book, you know? So I really don't know what's going on. It's some corporate crap, you know that. The, these corporations buy out one another to, for well, for all I know, you know, testers had a uh, you know, a do what's it 
thing stabilizer Schwansky got Maverick type machine that that's all they wanted rust only wanted, and they thought it would be good to help make their product so they they bought testers just for the convolio watsits that they had over there who the heck knows i don't know let's look it up i don't know why 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 i is i haven't been able to find too much information and of course my 45 dollar phone is slow as anything but we got uh testers testers paints um, I mean, they have a website still, but uh, uh, Rust-Oleum, I don't know. Let's see what happens. See if we have anything that says anything. Enamel paint bottle set in Rust-Oleum, enamel paints. Yeah, I just can't find anything of why they would have, uh, what, what testers had that they would have, who knows. But all I know is, you know, okay, so testers is gone. Big deal. Uh, got so many great paints out there. You know, got MCW finishes. They've been around for a long time, but there's a new owner, Michael Cast, and he's been working really hard on getting uh, nice, good colors and a, a wide variety of colors. Got a great line of uh, uh, enamels. Again, I'm, I'm not an enamel fan. So, you know, maybe as far as like the little bottles, if you're just wanting brush paint, because you like enamels for brush painting and doing detail work. I know MCW has always been, you know, really heavy into the color matching thing, especially, you know, they did it for stock car, you know, NASCAR race cars, but they, I, they do factory colors and everything. So that's a good way of going. I think Ravel bringing theirs, and I know there's guys that are really enamel lovers, so there's good product out there for enamels i think the ravel stuff is going to work out for you and uh, i haven't i haven't seen it yet so i haven't tried it out so i have no opinion but again like i said i i just am not a fan of the enamel so i can't give a proper opinion we will we will see how it goes i i think there'll be something that'll fall into place i mean yeah tests have been around a long time but there's always other stuff i go into andy's now he's got a section for paints that with testers gone is bigger than it ever was in the past when he had racks of testers. So um, there's there's plenty of stuff out there. There's plenty of avenues to go. You know that's all I got to say about that. So I, I hope you know you know I try to be the man. I'm, I'm I hope uh, George I didn't let you down, but I just I can't find any information of why this is happening. Who knows? Who knows what they're doing? But it must be pretty serious for the fact that, like, Andy got rid of all his racks. Most hobby shops, you know, I guess uh, uh, Hobby Lobby, they carried testers. They're getting rid of all their racks, putting something else in. You know, it's over. What can we do? I, I still have all that stuff. It, you know, I used to use the testers' paints a lot, but, you know, I just found I started messing with, you know, the, the Tamiya stuff, and it worked better for me. So that's how we roll. Every once in a while, I'll bust out my, my testers' bottles. And do them, use them for something. I used to love Testers Flat Black. Love their fluorescence. I really do. They're they dry fast because they're flats. These are you know, they're still enough. I didn't really have to get it mixed up. But this is their uh, neon red, and I I have really loved it. I love their orange. It was great for tide cars. But I like their fluorescence. So, and on another note. You know, since I got you guys, I got your ears. We did the testers things. I'm, I hope I fulfilled, but I, I don't know. It turned out this vlog really wasn't. Hmm. Sorry, but anyways, I want to talk about this. Okay, so you guys saw me do my whole video on this. I cannot believe the reactions that I got on this kit. I didn't. I just did the video. I didn't think it was do that great. The video, just everybody's watching it, and I'm getting tons of comments. You guys want me to build this so i think i will but we'll do it right side up so i am going to do a build video i'm working on my um my soviet well as you can tell you've probably seen me show up many times like this i haven't been working on my Salvino's uh mountain dew car i need to get back on that but i kind of like you know i said before uh my family was out of town and they my son-in-law took took off with the uh, camera I was using, so I didn't want to use this camera. Keep stuff consistent. They'll be back tomorrow night. I'll get that back, and we'll see how that rolls, and I'll probably get started again this week. Back onto this. I want to get this thing made, built, done. I got a bunch of cool videos coming. I have bought some interesting things. Every time I go to Andy's, I always find something really crazy, and just might as well show you. 
I know these look like just regular paint brushes. These things are nuts. I got to I got to try these out and I figure I'll do a video. And maybe we will all like these. They're from AK. They are silicone. Do you see that? That's not a brush. That's like a, a silicone shape. I'm going to mess around with these, see what these do. Something tells me this this might be something the the future of little brushes. Um I, my brushes, I can't stand my brushes. They make me upset. I'm going to do a little demo on that. Let's see how that works. Those are crazy. I had to, I had to do that. I am still working on my nose. I got the finishing touches to do, and I'm going to put this thing in silicone rubber mold, and I'm going to do a video on that, and we're going to start producing these. So, and I'll let you guys know when they're ready to go, and uh, we'll figure out how we're going to sell them. So, thanks a bunch for just all your support. You guys are great. The group is really exploding with some great model builders on there. You're posting really interesting stuff everybody stays civil it's really cool everybody's nice and respectful to one another everybody's joining it's really neat we got tons and tons of great people on there if you're not on it you got to get on there and we got another unpodcast coming up i think you guys are gonna like i'll let you know who it is it's a really cool guest we're gonna be talking about some really cool things but i'm gonna put it out for my patreon so watch the week before you guys get it I hope to have it all done maybe by the end of this weekend. I don't know what time you're watching this. Like I said, it's Friday night, May something. Patreons are going to see this uh, episode of the Um Podcast first. And then we'll drop it to all the rest of you. If you care to be a Patreon producer, join up with the crew. Because we all talk about things and these guys give me some great ideas. I get ideas like tonight from George on the uh, uh, off the board. Which, I don't know, I think I kind of failed it. I didn't really have much to say. I don't know if I put anything good into this whole subject, but what the heck. That's all I got to say about that. Come on over if you want to. Go on to my Patreon. Link in the description below if you want to become a producer. We'd love to have you. So with that said, what I'd like you guys all to do is go out there and build model cars. Why? Because they're fun! <laughs> Oh, yeah. I don't work for AutoZone, by the way. I can't stand AutoZone. I just got the shirt because I used to a long time ago. Like, oh, man, who cares? I don't work for them. I don't go there. <laughs> That's for another story. So we will see you in the next video. Right? Whatever. I hear the music, so it's time to go.